Hi, welcome to our Introduction to Programming with Python class. In this class, you'll be using Python to write your very first computer program. This class is great if you've never done any computer programming before. In order to begin, you'll need to navigate to repl.it. That's a website, repl.it. Go ahead and open this up in your web browser. From there, you should get a page that looks kind of like this. You will need to log in or sign up for an account, but don't worry, it's free. Once you do that, you should get to a page that looks something like this. On the left-hand side, you should see a button that says New REPL. Go ahead and click on that. Now, in the list of languages, I want you to look for Python with Turtle. There it is. And then I want you to give it a name. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to say Learn Python with Me. Then I can go ahead and click Create REPL. Inside of my REPL, you can see I have a few different things. On this left-hand side here, I've got my code editor. This is where I can actually type in code and edit my code. On the right-hand side is where I see the results of my code, the output. Down below here is the console. The console is going to show me any errors or warning that I have in my code. At the top here is the run button. I'll need to use this button to run the code once I finish typing it here. In order to begin, I want you to type this. From turtle import star. Now, here's how I like to think about this. I like to think about turtle as like a toolbox. And from the turtle toolbox, I'm importing all its tools. In programming, the asterisk is commonly used to refer to, to all or everything. So again, I'm importing all the tools that are inside of the turtle toolbox. Now I want to use one of the tools that I just imported. And one of those tools is written like this, forward parentheses, a number. I'm putting in 100. Can you guess what that 100 does? If we go ahead and run our code, it might be a little bit easier to figure it out. You can see that the 100 here refers to the length of pixels that the turtle travels. He starts at the center and moves 100 pixels forward. I can go ahead and change this to 200, and you can see that my turtle will double in length. There it is. He started here, and now he's moved 200 pixels forward. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this, though, and go back to 100. There we go, it's still working. Now there's not just one turtle toolbox and one tool in our turtle toolbox. Inside of here, we have a few other commands as well. We can use forward, backward, right, and left. We already know what the forward 100 means and what the backwards 100 means. What do you think the right 90 and left 90 do? If you guessed that those were the angles that the turtle will turn, then you are correct. We can try it out like so. If we go forward 100, and then I tell the turtle to turn right 90 degrees, and I go ahead and run the program, you'll see he moves forward, and then he turns 90 degrees to the right. I can go ahead and change this to left, and I can see the turtle go the other way. There he goes. Can you use these two commands I just gave you to try to draw a square? Go ahead and pause the video and try this out. Were you able to figure it out? Let me show you how I solved it. If you go ahead and repeat these two commands over and over, you should get a square. Our turtle goes forward 100, turns right, or turns left 90, goes forward 100, turns left 90, goes forward 100, turns left 90, and he's finished a square. This is a pretty simple way to solve this problem, but it's a lot of code for a very simple shape. Let me introduce you to a new concept in Python called a loop. A loop is what we can use to repeat a piece of code over and over. You can see that my code is repeating here, forward, left, forward, left, forward, left, forward, left. I can make this a little bit easier by putting it all inside of a loop. For i in range for. This is how we define the loop. In order to put code inside of it, I have to take this code here, put it right below, and I have to make sure that it is indented a little bit. These tabs are really, really important in Python. They tell Python that these two commands are inside of this for loop. Now, if I go ahead and run this, you can see my code does exactly the same thing. I can also change this loop to run maybe two times instead of four times so we can see what happens. Now the turtle only draws two sides of the square. In order to make it draw a complete square, then I'll have to change it back to 4.
Now one loop is pretty cool, but actually we can take a loop and we can put it inside of another loop. I could do this by defining another loop for, I'm, this time I'm going to use j in range, and I'm going to use a pretty big number. This time I'm going to use the number 36. Now remember, in order to put these two elements inside of this first loop, I have to tab everything in one. Now you can see there's one tab here and two tabs here, because this is inside of this, which is inside of this. Now if I run this code, we should get a square getting drawn over and over and over again. There's my first one, second one. It's just going to keep doing that 36 times. So I want to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to go ahead and tab in once, and I'm going to add a command. It's going to be left 15 degrees. Now if I run this, we should get a shape that's a little bit more interesting. This is pretty cool, but it's very slow. If I want to speed it up, there's another command I can use. I can use the command speed. Now speed zero is the fastest, so I'm going to choose that, speed zero. I'm going to stop my program and run it again. And now you can see my turtle is moving a lot faster. If I want to make this a little bit more visually appealing, I can add color as well. The color command is very easy. Just type in color, and then the color that you'd like. I'm going to choose red. Now if I run my command, you can see my turtle is now red, he's going fast, and he's drawing a pretty cool shape. What can you do with the turtle? Can you try drawing multiple other shapes? Maybe try drawing a triangle or an octagon instead of just a square. If you like this class, you can take more of our classes online. We go a little bit more in depth and we have teachers that can help you out if you get stuck along the way. Thanks for joining me.